Shalom, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's Jonathan, the Code Searcher, coming back for another uh, update for you guys. Uh, I really want to get back into the, the teachings here very soon. But before I do that, I wanted to update you guys on you know what's going on in my life, why you haven't seen me in a month. <clears throat> so here goes. So uh, the last time I spoke to you guys, I, I mentioned that uh, I had been on restriction from YouTube. This was the second time uh, that it happened. And um, I'm very aware that it's not just me. There are many YouTubers who have you know, had to deal with these new algorithms. I got dinged on a couple of videos that uh, YouTube says is misinformation. Um, of course, you know, you can't really argue that. Uh, I had to do some very drastic things to uh, mitigate this uh, obstacle because they gave me a one-two punch and if there was a third it would mean that i would lose my my channel so they dinged me on things about you know the election and on the vaccine and all that kind of stuff you guys and you know i went through with a fine-tooth comb and got rid of a lot of videos deleted did what i had to do you guys so it is thinned out Here's the good news, though. I was able to transfer a lot of my material over to other platforms. And I did tell you this the last time uh, I updated you. I'm on Odyssey, um, BitChute, Rumble, and uh, a couple other places that I'm trying, I'm trying to make sure we got it spread out. No more content. I'm sorry, I got something in my mouth here with my mustache. <laughs> anyway. So um, it was it was scary, you guys. It was very stressful. Um, you know, I'm going through a lot with this divorce and I had to worry about my channel um, getting deleted. So I had to mitigate that. That is all done. We're going to change some things up on this channel and uh, I won't be able to do any more controversial things. Anything that's a that's a part of the guidelines and, you know, what? YouTube restricts, I have to obey that. So we're going to keep this channel specifically for inert codes, in other words, uh, codes that's not going to trigger anything from YouTube, uh, basically. And uh, anything that I do is controversial. We'll probably do from a new website that's getting built uh, where my school is going to be. It'll be a place where I can stream from that platform using one of the stream apps. And we won't get dinged, you guys. We will be able to log in and store all that information on the servers and uh, I won't lose my channel. Uh, but that's still yet to come. OK, uh, I've had to handle other things first. I am a person with ADD. And when I got too much to do or too many things to to pay attention to, I tend to freeze and it paralyzes me. So I have not been able to work on codes uh, the past couple of months. I've had to reach down deep you guys and grab some internal fortitude and get myself through this divorce as brutal and as um you know it's it's been tough on me i've lost all my animals i love my my adopted kids my bees this really grieved me you guys um many of you saw the videos of me and my bees catching swarms and things like that when i was in hawaii and uh, you can tell in those videos, I had a very special relationship with my bees. That's been grieving me a lot here lately. And it's been, you know, the focus of some of my prayer. Um, I feel like I've lost my passion or passions. You know, I've, it's, it's wearing on me. Um, I lost my school because someone attacked my reputation. And those, those are closest to you guys can do the most damage and in my experience and, and learning from all of this my circles of trust have gotten smaller and smaller this is the second time i've had to start over and i just turned 50 february 22nd so it's been a tough month for me you guys emotionally uh reminiscing thinking about my animals my bees etc it's been tough <clears throat> i'm thankful that i've got people around me that love me, people that, that care and are concerned about me. Um, 
but that that circle of trust is very small you guys um i have relocated i am now in south miami uh and didn't plan on coming here you guys it just happened that way i know it's not random there's nothing random even though it feels that way uh, I believe you would adorn, uh, ordained my steps to be here. Put me in a, in a community, a Latin community uh, that's, that's high population is is Jewish, <laughs> and um, I kind of like it here. It's it's an international place. There are many different cultures: Russians, Georgians, Ukrainians, uh, Jewish, uh, Israelis, um, people from all over. French. And, uh, you know, it's 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 kind of nice to network and to make new friends and those that are not judging you and, um, you know, going off of gossip and things like that. You guys, this has been devastating, a devastating uh, past year. And if you guys recall, I told you for two years running up to uh, what's happened and, and that, you know, we're all going on the threshing floor in some way uh, that this was. A, a time period where the things that we're not valued, the things that you cannot use in us is going to fall away. Right. Um, like going into the, the fiery furnace uh, and being tried and tested like silver and gold. Silver and gold is not being punished. It's being purified the same way on the threshing floor with the grain It's being purified. Right. So all the things that are not valuable fall away. So it is a process and it's not, pleasant and i've told you guys that i'm i'm right there with many of you that are going through very similar things or you know not so similar things uh you're not alone okay and you're gonna you're gonna see it through there is light at the end of the tunnel and you're gonna make it through this okay uh we have to take it one day at a time and try not to think about too many days ahead that's been my problem i, I tend to focus on things i can't change dwelling in the past, you know, thinking about the future and so on. Um, so yeah, uh, it's, it's been a crazy ride for me, you guys. And, um, I know many of you have been watching and, um, you know, witnessing a lot of things, um, a lot of truth coming to the surface, what things that were said about me are not being proven false or the people are being shown as liars. Uh, happened to be clean <laughs> some of the videos off of my computer and off of my uh, YouTube. And I happened to find a couple of videos that somebody I know made using my computer when I was still in Hawaii. And I thought, maybe sh maybe I should post this. And then I didn't. I have to be a little strategic about it. A lot of things were said in that video that were compromising to the person. Uh, and I'm talking about Darla. Uh, she admits some things on the video. She actually um, con uh, contradicts things that she said publicly on there. So I, I, I believe you would brought this to my attention for a reason. I like a trump card, whatever. Um, so you may see that video posted here soon. But if, if you do know that it has to be part of public record. OK, just just know that. Um, what else is going on? Um well, okay, so I'm I'm down in South Florida now, down past Miami, all really close to the Keys. Homestead is the place. It's very conducive to the weather that I was uh, in in Hawaii. Um, and, and like I said in the last videos, I, I'd been going through this up and down thing with the weather and overcast and feeling depression like really strong, and uh, it just it wasn't feeling healthy to me. And so I ended up coming down to Florida for um, Sukkot and meeting new people and yada, yada, yada. One thing leads to another, a new community. Next thing you know, I'm leasing land um, in the agricultural part of Homestead. And uh, you guys, I'm getting ready to go back into the beans. Yes. That's like I just said a few moments ago, it's grieved me um, that I haven't had this uh, outlet I mean, to, to, you know, to find my grounding and, uh, you know, when I was working with bees, it was something special. It was like a relationship that I valued. And so, like I said, I've been grieving that in the past couple of weeks and uh, asking you who to please restore this back to me. And you guys, you know what he did? 
he started sending me bees. <laughs> I kid you not. At both my friends' house, uh, Mario and my other friend Alex, they've got bees in their house. One's got uh, one hive and the other's got two um, in the walls of the house. So there's three hives that I can get uh, without any cost to me, other than the boxes I got to buy and the equipment I got to buy to put them in. So I started getting excited, you guys. Let me let me show you something. Um, this is my friend Alex's house. And uh, I, I happened to notice one day when I'm looking at the incredible mango tree that's out in the yard that's about to explode with, with fruit this summer. I saw the bees all over the place. And I'm like, where are these bees coming from? So I walked around this house and lo and behold, I find this. So it's got a beautiful, healthy hive in there. And I was going to show you another video that I had queued up, um, but I guess I guess I'm not going to pull that up. But I've also got a location uh, that I'm going to be putting these. Up. Let me see if I can pull it up like this. Yeah, I'll just do that. An amazing location, you guys. That's that's like I said, very much like um, Hawaii. It is a friend of mine who has got a food forest. Um, that he's built in his property. All right, I want to show you this. this is a really so this is one location I'm going to be putting the bees. It almost reminds me of Hawaii. As you can see, like all the, he's got all his pineapples growing there. It's like a, it's like a food forest all through there. Mangoes. Yeah, you can see in that corner right there. The mango that's blooming is uh, going nuts over there with the bees. Um, but anyway, um, a perfect place to put bees. Uh, I do have other options. And my thoughts are to start with 25 hives and build from there. If you recall what I did in Hawaii, uh, I started with two hives and then soon it grew to four. And then the next uh, season which the seasons are three months long in hawaii within nine months i had 16 hives okay so starting with 25 so i got three that i can capture and i can buy the rest from local beekeepers and kind of get different genetics but my point is uh starting a business commercial honey business with 25 hives that will soon grow and, and exp exponentially grow um to many hundred hives and so the idea is to be able to work with the many farmers that I've made contacts with down there through the markets and other places. I've done some research here in the past few weeks, you guys. Uh, I got to find other avenues of income that I've, th this past year has devastated uh, my, my life. Um, the school was very successful until, um, you know, had someone, you know, destroy that. Anyway, they can't touch this. This is something that uh, is a gift, I believe, from Yahuwah. He has given me a passion he's given me, and I believe it's an avenue of blessing. Um, and so I'm going to go full force on this as part of, you know, um, my income. You guys, I got to survive somehow. And uh, I got I have to make preparations for that because I came really close to losing my channel, you guys. And that is my only lifeline to my community, um, to, you know, ad revenues and things like that. If I didn't have the help that I have, uh, I would not be able to, to have made it this, this year. You who has put the right people in my life that care about me, that know me, that know my spirit, that have been there for me. But I can't depend on that forever, you guys. I have to be able to take care of myself. 
and those around me. And so this is my passion, uh, along with searching codes. Um, you know, I would like to get back into cows. Bees are a little bit easier, okay? Uh, cows cost thousands, bees, a few hundred dollars. I can buy nucleus hives for $150 a piece. So if I bought, if I bought outright 25 hives, that's like uh, 3,700 bucks, okay, to get started. So it's a lot easier to do this than get back into cows, but I would eventually want to get a few cows. Uh, the land that I'm going to be, you know, leasing down in uh, South Florida is a few acres and it's agricultural land. It's perfect to put bees on and animals and things like that. So be praying about that with me, you guys, that, you know, these doors will open and uh, others will close that are appropriate. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful for you who are taking care of me and looking out for me and making a way. Um, you know, just a couple of weeks ago, you guys, I was in a bad place. And I'm, I'm not even kidding. Um, I was tired. I'm tired of going through this roller coaster ride. And, you know, I was hearing much like Yeshua on the mountain. Where House of Tom was telling him to kill himself or throw himself off the building, I was hearing something very similar. Don't get freaked out. Please don't overreact. I'm okay. Everything is under control. But just know I've been dealing with uh, the depression so bad that uh, you know I've heard those those things in uh, in my head. Uh, but I have re I've reached out to someone and have them praying, and, and so I'm accountable in that way um, for. You know, this shortcoming. Um, and I think it's, an, it's a spiritual attack. And I believe it's because of the information that we've released over the years. That the, the gravity and the depth of those is, you know, is um, why there's such a strong spiritual attack on uh, this ministry and on my life. The short of it is I'm coming through it, you guys. And um, I'm going to be stronger than ever and more productive. Uh, as soon as, you know, I can get my mind back on codes, we're going to be doing personal codes again. I have not stopped. I still have my book with all the names in it, you guys. My, right here. Um, we'll pick that back up and uh, take on more, more projects um, as well. I won't be doing controversial stuff on this channel. It'll be going to other platforms, but we will still be doing codes. That is a passion of mine. Um, but uh, at the moment, it's not um, it's not bringing in anything to help me eat and pay expenses and things like that. And uh, those those do not stop. It keeps it keeps uh, coming. So I'm very hopeful in this new endeavor. Uh, I do have a a friend that I'm I'm you know, kind of networking with, he's a rabbi, he's Jewish, and uh, he wants to partner in some way on, on some on some projects. And so I'm, I'm you know, presenting this idea and uh, the ones I've talked to are really encouraged and uh, really on board with this, especially when they see me light up about talking about bees, they, they really want to get involved. And, uh, and so I think I've got a great network of friends where I'm at who genuinely care about me that I can genuinely trust to not stab me in the back and, you know, spread lies and gossip about me. Um, and I'm okay. I'm okay. You guys, even with the rough, you know, moments and, and having bad thoughts, I'm doing well. Okay. Uh, I'm not giving up. Um, we're going to come back stronger than ever and teaching the primary teaching on this channel besides the codes, is going to be the calendar, you guys. And so that's going to be the very first video you see from me when, when I come back officially, because uh, this is just an update for you guys. But officially, within the next few days, I'm going to be, be talking about the calendar. We do have the Equinox that is coming up. This is going to be you know, what we're looking for to know when the new year is and how to reckon that. And so I'm going to be going over that with you guys and um, teaching you about the, the calendar. Um, just a little sneak peek. I wanted to only encourage you and show you something. Um, there's a lot of people who come against the observance of the moon. The moon is forever. 
Psalm 104, 19 says the moon determines the Moedim, and that word means Shabbats, feasts, uh, right? Um, and it, this is what determines it. The, the verses also say the moon is forever. This is this is an ordinance forever. Matter of fact, there are 42 verses about the moon. Okay. I want to show you one particular one uh, from Psalm 89. It's a reference about something else, but it's talking about how it's established like the moon. And, and it's so uh, established forever like the moon and a witness in the sky that is faithful. Okay. So what is the symbol for forever? This is really cool. The symbol for forever is the infinity sign, right? Take a look at what happens in the moon cycle. You got to see this. Okay, my little mouse is not wanting to move. The sign of forever is the infinity sign. Isn't it really cool that Yahuwah says the moon is forever? The moon determines Moedim. This is forever, right? It's a faithful witness in the sky. The design that it makes as it goes through is, is infinity. And I think that's that's kind of cool. So um, just a little snippet of what we're going to be getting into in our next studies on the calendar. So... Uh, if you will, you guys, please like and subscribe and share this video. And um, uh, please continue to pray for my situation and what I'm going through um, for protection. And um, you, you would continue to open the doors. Um, you know, I, I miss you guys. I, I see your emails. I see your, your messages. And even if I can't respond to all of them, you guys, this is an easier way for me to do that, to kind of connect with you is through the video. I can't be sending out 100 emails a day and or, or even more. Sometimes it's more than that that comes in. So thank you for, for being patient with me, especially for those that are waiting on code still. I, I, I'm not done with that. I will continue to do that. Just be patient with me that, uh, you know, I can come through this hard time and uh, get back to doing what I do. All right. So thank you for listening. Please, like I said, uh, keep us in prayer and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Shalom.